on this edition of the Mad Cow Morning News Show. Spending the past five years peeling back the curtain on the 9-11 conspiracy in the tiny town where the terrorists learned to fly had revealed a heady mix of players you wouldn't expect to find in the retirement community. But in the three years since Welcome to Terrorland came out, the people we've written about that are still alive have never surfaced in a more bizarre scenario or, or a more out-of-the-way place than this. I is on the trail of a man in the South Pacific with alleged links to one of the 9-11 masterminds. This week in a special investigation for our 6.30 report, one New Pacific correspondent, Barbara Drever, broke the story on how the FBI is hunting a man with terrorist connections in the Kiribati Islands. He tried to set up a pilot training school on a remote island bordering U.S. territory. That's despite the island having no airports or telephones. He said that he knew Muhammad Atta. The pair mixed frequently as Bo Ringer had owned a flight school beside the airfield where the 9-11 hijackers trained. We stumbled upon something that may have been truly, truly bad. Kiribati people have barely heard of 9-11, but now they're learning about global terrorism firsthand. This is the man the FBI is trying to find, Wolfgang Bo Ringer, who says he was friends with 9-11 hijacker Muhammad Atta. He sailed into Kiribati's Fanning Island a year ago on board along with a Slovenian girlfriend, a proposal to set up a resort and flight school on the island. That's despite Fanning Island having no airport or telecommunications. We never imagined that we would be site for some activity in that nature. Neither had residents of this retirement community on Florida's Gulf Coast. What was happening in the South Pacific had first happened here. This is where we first discovered from Muhammad Atta's erstwhile American girlfriend, Amanda Keller, that some of Muhammad Atta's close companions didn't fit the Islamic fundamentalist profile when we first heard the name Wolfgang Boringer. As Amanda continued talking, what came through clearly was the fact that Atta's associates were as likely to be European as Arab. Do you speak German with this? Yes. Spoke fluent German. Fluent. So when he was with Wolfgang or Volker? Spoke German. Volker? Who's Volker? Vol Wolfgang. Wolfgang. It's pronounced Wolfgang yeah. in English, right. but it's Wolfgang. Wolfgang in Wolfgang. German. He called certain people he met at the flight school, and it was mostly Arabic background, his brothers. I don't know if that was the same thing, because I was like, how the hell are you related to all these people? You know, or this is, he would introduce him as like, like a family member, sort of like, this is one of my brothers. He called Yuri, I think, and Wolfgang. I know he called Wolfgang one. Him and Wolfgang were very close. They hung, they were very tight with each other. They went everywhere together. When he came into the picture, they were together all the time. Which makes Wolfgang Boringer's identity and current activity a vital interest to anyone seeking clues to who the terrorists were meeting and what they were doing in the U.S. in the year before the attack. So what was Wolfgang Boringer doing on Fanning Island? The isolated Kiribati Islands are grappling with being catapulted into the world of terrorism. It's absolutely gut-wrenching frightening. But for local residents like Chuck Corbett, who spent months with Wolfgang Boehringer, things didn't add up. One particular night, he laid out seven different passports on the table. Then there was the cash, and lots of it. He'd always give me a $100 bill. Once it was $700, seven $100 bills. And they were always crisp and neat. Compare Boringer's access to easy cash with Muhammad Adas. So the what, what, what are we to make of a bunch of guys in their early 30s getting paid to go around to flight schools? I, I mean, they have no shortage of cash, right? These guys had money flowing out their ass. I mean, excuse my language, but they never seemed to run out of money. I mean, they was just, just tossing money left and right. I mean, it was just like, oh my God. And they had, they had mass supplies of cocaine. Could both Ada and Boringer's easy access to money mean they both worked for the same or similar organizations? 
As well as the flight school, we can reveal the FBI is also investigating Bo Ringer's alleged links to Victor Kozeny. Known as a pirate of Prague, he faces swindling charges involving hundreds of millions of dollars. The last known sighting of Bo Ringer was in Kiribati two months ago. Wolfgang Boehringer left Kiribati in a hurry once realising authorities were on to him. He's also left behind questions the FBI would dearly like answers to. For now, the FBI is continuing its search for the mysterious Wolfgang Boehringer and his cash-laden yacht. I think it may put onus on the countries that would be threatened to assist us in providing that uh, security. It's a nice thought, but the countries that would be threatened, like the U.S., have their own problems, it turns out. Wolfgang Boringer was taken into custody, but then almost immediately released after he told the authorities responsible for his capture that he works for the CIA.